kids. PBS Kids asks, what do you like to do? My name is Lauren and I like to tell jokes. Where did the cheeseburger go to dance? The meatball, get it? What do you like to do? Clifford is funded in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car. And the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Ooh. Clifford's cookie craving. Birdwell Island Fair, isn't it fantastic? Uh-huh. Just smell all that delicious food. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of popcorn in the morning. Hey, guys. Just remember our people food rule. If it drops on the ground or it's headed that way, it belongs to the dogs and that's okay. Wow, Mrs. Bleakman, that's quite a cookie you baked. Oh, I didn't bake this. Mr. Bleakman made it all by himself. It's the biggest cookie I've ever seen at the Birdwell Fair. It's a beauty, isn't it? It looks like a prize winner to me. How about a picture, Mr. Bleakman? Cookie and cook. Why, sure. I can't wait to see everyone's face when you uncover this treat at the end of the day. I know I'll be there. We'll see you then, folks. Bye. Thanks for your help. Now, what do you say I go win you a big stuffed teddy bear, Violet? Ooh, that would be wonderful, Horace. But shouldn't someone stay here and watch your cookie? 
Don't worry, Violet. It'll be just fine. Wait a minute. Do you guys smell that? Uh-huh. I sure do. Mmm-mm. Scrum dum delicious. Let's go see what it is. It's coming from in there. Just my size. But it's not on the ground. And it's not headed that way. So, so it's, it's not, not for the dog, dog and it's not okay. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we should get out of here. Right. Let's go. <clears throat> Clifford, let's go. Oh, now, come on, big guy. Ugh. I think Clifford has a giant cookie craving. Well, it's the first time he's ever seen a cookie his size. We have to help him forget about that treat. Clifford? Oh, oh, sorry, guys. You've just got to get your mind off that cookie. I'm trying, Cleo, but everywhere I look, all I see... is that big, sweet, delicious cookie. Clifford, come back! Wait for us! Are you okay, Clifford? Uh-huh. I'm okay. Poor guy. He has a really bad case of cookie-itis. Maybe if I just had one little lick, I wouldn't want any more. I know I can't eat it, and I won't. I just want to look at it. And one little sniff couldn't hurt. Clifford! <gasps> wow! A piece of the cookie is on the ground! It was an accident! Well, you know the people food rule. If it's on the ground... Or headed that way... It belongs to the dogs. And that's, and that's okay. okay! That is the rule. So let's eat, guys. You go ahead, Clifford. You can have it. Really? It's all yours, big guy. Mm. That was so good. Gee. He looks kind of lopsided now. It sure does. Hey, I know. How about we eat all the way around the cookie and even it out? That way no one will notice a piece is missing. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Okay, everyone. Let's eat. There. All done. No one will ever know a piece is missing. Oh, it was a tough job, but it had to be done. And we were just the dogs to do it. Uh-huh, but I'm kind of glad we're done. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite. Uh. 
Guys, doesn't it still look a little lopsided? Well, maybe a little. Uh-huh. I guess we'll have to eat some more to even it out. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to see the... Biggest oatmeal raisin cookie you've ever seen. A real Clifford size. His confection. <laughs> He's right about that. Just wait until Clifford sees it. Sheriff. But you can't really blame him, can you? What? Well, you made such a delicious smelling, yummy looking, crunchy sounding, scrum dum delicious cookie. How could the poor dog resist? Oh, it was a beautiful cookie, wasn't it? Oh, Mr. Bleakman, I'm so sorry Clifford ate your cookie. And I know Clifford is very sorry, too. Well, it was a pretty remarkable cookie. I guess I can't really blame him for not being able to resist it. After all, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. <gasps> Including leaving too big of a temptation in front of a very large dog. <laughs> <laughs> Story, don't you? Woof, woof. <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and his very own book. One day, Speckle was reading one of his favorite books. He was enjoying it so much, he decided to write a book of his own. So he sat down at his desk and he began to write. In Speckle's story, Darnell finds an amazing treasure map. He asks Reba, Luna, and Ravi to join him on an adventure to find the treasure. Following the map, they made their way through a dark and mysterious jungle and opened the secret entrance to an ancient cave where they discovered the treasure that was to be shared by all. When Speckle was finished writing his book, there was still more fun to be had. Because Reba, Luna, Rabbi, and Darnell were eager to hear the story that Speckle had written all about them. A story that was a true treasure. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs>
Jetta. I have the best news. My mother just told me that she has to go to Birdwell Island for a business trip next Tuesday. And she said I can come along and spend the whole day with you. Yes! My pen pal Monique is coming to visit tomorrow. Oh, it's just going to be the best day ever. I'm going to make sure it's perfect. I better start planning now. Thanks, Baz. This one's ready for testing. Okay, Clifford. Time for takeoff. making kites? Uh-huh. And tomorrow we're gonna fly them together. Wanna make one? No, thank you. I have to take these groceries home and do about a million other things to get ready for when my friend Monique comes to visit tomorrow. Monique? Your pen pal from the mainland? That's great, Jetta! Maybe you guys would like to fly kites with us. Oh, no, Emily Elizabeth. She'll only be here for a few hours, and I've already planned our schedule. <gasps> it's gonna be great! First, we'll hunt for seashells. Then have lunch at the lighthouse. Then ride bikes and rollerblades. Hmm? Hmm. Clifford! Making a picnic lunch all by myself. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Monique's favorite. But, um, isn't that a lot to do in just a few hours? Not as long as we stay on schedule. This timer will help us stay on time. <laughs> that sure is loud. It has to be. It's going to let us know when it's time to move on to the next activity. Oh, gotta go, or I'll never be ready for tomorrow. Bye! Great! The ferry is right on time! Jetta! Monique! It's, it's so, so good, good to see you! you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you two, have a good time while I'm at my meeting. But make sure you're back here for the four o'clock ferry, Monique. Don't worry, Mrs. Trumbull. I have the entire day completely scheduled. Okay, then I'll see you back here at four sharp. A schedule? Wow, you're so organized, Jetta. What do we do first? Well, for our first activity, we're going to the beach to look for seashells. I've set my timer so we'll know exactly how much time we have before our next activity. <gasps> Jetta! What's that? Huh? Oh, that's Clifford. Woof, woof. What an absolutely amazing dog! Thanks. I think he's pretty special, too. You must be Emily Elizabeth. Jetta wrote to me about you. And Clifford, he's even bigger and redder than I thought he'd be. Uh-huh, he's big, he's red, we're late, gotta go. Timer is ticking. I see you, Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> oh no, we're running behind schedule. We should be halfway to Seashell Cove by now. Woof. Don't worry, Clifford will take you there. Really? I'd love that. I don't know. It might help you get back on schedule. Right. Let's go. Thanks, Emily Elizabeth. Whoa. Wow! It's absolutely amazing! And it's the best place on the whole island to find seashells. Let's go! Whee! Come on, Monique, it's fun! Well... Happy shell hunting! 
Thanks for the ride, Clifford. Let me check my timer. Yes, we're back on schedule. Let's hurry and find some seashells. Will you see them all? There's some really big ones here. I don't think you're gonna find any big ones today, Jetta. Oh, hi guys. Monique, this is Charlie and Baz. Guys, this is my pen pal, Monique. Nice to meet you, Monique. I don't think you'll be able to find any shells today. We've been looking all morning and haven't found a single one. But they have to be here. This is our planned activity for the next 23 minutes. Maybe the shells have a schedule of their own. Or maybe you just don't know the right places to look. Like I do. Well, good luck. Sometimes you have to dig for the really good ones. I'm sure we'll find one soon. <laughs> you didn't find any seashells, but you did find the sea. Get them! <laughs> hey! Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Timer's still okay. We need it to stay on schedule. What about lunch, Jetta? How about some fish and chips, Jamaican style? What do you think, Monique? These are the best fish and chips I've ever had, Charlie. Thanks! But we were supposed to have peanut butter and banana sandwiches. That's your favorite. That's okay, Jetta. This is great. Last time's over. Come on, Monique, we better hurry. It's bike riding time. Thanks for lunch, Charlie. See you later, guys. I can't believe I got a flat tire. Oh, well, things like this happen sometimes, Jetta. Hey! Come back here with my timer! No! My timer! This was definitely not part of the plan. Well, maybe there's something else we can do here, Jetta. There's nothing to do here. Absolutely nothing. Look! Someone's flying a kite. Oh, right. Some of my friends were making kites yesterday. They must be flying them today. Let's go see. But wait, Monique. Kite flying isn't on the schedule. Well, I guess we're going kite flying. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, it's almost four o'clock! Oh no! I'm gonna miss the ferry! Not if you take the Clifford Express! <laughs> Monique, I'm sorry things got messed up and we didn't get to do everything I'd planned. It's okay, Jetta. I did the most important thing on my list. You did? What was that? I spent an amazing day with you. It didn't matter what we did, just as long as we did it together. Oh, thanks, Monique. Wow, I, I had a pretty amazing day, too. Bye! All right soon. Me, too! Bye. I'm 
sorry you didn't get to do everything on your list, Jetta. You know, Emily Elizabeth, you don't always have to stick to a plan. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow, like I do. I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie from Rosie's Rules. She's a five-year-old who asks a lot of questions. I gotta know. And likes to figure things out. Orale! The brand new show Rosie's Rules, streaming free Monday, October 3rd on PBS Kids. The PBS Kids video apps. Hello! Come inside. Where you can watch your favorite PBS Kids shows. Yes! Oh! Anytime Ooh. and anywhere. Cool! Sounds good. And the app lets you download clips and full-length episodes so you can watch whenever and wherever you want. That sounds like big-time fun. Take all the laughter and learning of PBS Kids with you. Yay! On the PBS Kids video app. Download for free today. Clifford is funded in part by... A ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org. all that yarn come from? <laughs> Who cares? What should we do with it? <gasps> Let's knit the world's biggest sweater. Or <clears throat> play giant yarn ball soccer. Hey, give it back. <laughs> oh, nearly gotcha. Clean this up. Hmm. <gasps> well, we can make yarn masks. Good idea. Rawr! Or yarn wand. What else can we make? Bon appetit! Yum, yum! Ta-da! Wow! Who knew there was so much you could do with yarn? Huh. There's still a little left. <gasps> Whoa! The world's smallest sweater. It's just your size. Aw, thanks, Scribbles. I love it. Want to come make more art? You can draw, paint, and make a fun creation with us on the PBS Kids Games app. We'll see you there. Every single boy and girl has what it takes to change the world. Right now. Oh, I'm the Secret Museum. Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum. Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum. Streaming now free on PBS Kids. Meet Agent Olympia. The definition of perky. Ooh, anticipation. Hot <laughs> Squad tonight at 8, 7 central on PBS Kids. Queremos que las habilidades matemáticas suman a un futuro más brillante. Así que creamos Matemáticas en Familia para ayudar a familias con niños de 2 a 5 años a descubrir la alegría de las.